In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Hi folks, welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're back in the orchard talking about pollination. Now I have cherry trees. I've got two, I've got this one right here, which happens to be a, a Stella cherry. Uh, back about 25 feet away, there's a nice van cherry back there. Now if you wanna have sweet cherries, you have to have two separate pollinators. But now one of the problems I've run into in the past here in zone six is a lot of times the van cherries will get killed because they come out too early and then we'll have the Stella blooms on with nothing to pollinate them with so the Stella fails too. So what I'm doing this year is I'm gonna hedge my bets a little bit. I went online and did a little research and I came up with a hedge cherry that's a van variety that can pollinate uh, this Stella that can be used as a pollinator. And it comes in a little little bare root stock like this. It's called a uh, sugar sweet cherry. It's a bush, not a tree. So what I'll do is I'll just come out here in the orchard four or five foot, feet from this Stella and plant them in a circle around it. Now what that's going to do is these are going to grow up like a bush, which that's okay. Uh, as this Stella grows, it's a full size tree. It's not a dwarf or anything like that. So it's going to get 20 foot tall and these are going to be under the canopy. Well, what if I don't want them there? Well, they're, they're a bush. I can move them. Also, remember, I've never planted these before, but if I like them, if I like them, then I can turn around and make hardwood cuttings and make as many of these as I want. So I bought, they came as a set of three and I bought them that way. I don't remember what I paid for them. I'd like to tell you, but I don't remember. Uh, but I'll plant these around this Stella bush, Stella tree, and they will give me another option for pollinating my Stella cherry. So in hopes that I won't have a year without cherries. I'm not advertising for any company. Uh, I'll place a link to the sugar sweet cherry. That'll give you an option if you wanted to, to get a few to help pollinate your cherry trees. I'm hoping that these will last, uh, the blooms will last about the right time. Uh, on a bush variety, they're, they're a smaller cherry, but that doesn't matter. We're not planting the seeds from the Stella and you won't be either because it's so much easier to, to graft a tree than it is to plant a seed because you never know what you're gonna get as a seed coming back. So I'll put a link to these uh, bushes. I got them all three planted about six minutes or seven. Uh, they're just little bitty things. Uh, hopefully they'll make it. I'll water them good and mulch them and uh, they'll grow right there with the tree. If I like them, I'll propagate them from cuttings and I'll have a bunch of them. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.